Yo, what's good, y'all? Back with another one. Whew, man. Ready for the playoffs, man. Like, this is what it's about. NBA playoffs. And then you got the fight Saturday night with Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Like, and I'm going to explain to you why I think Devin Haney is in for a monster night. But first, I'm going to preview the Knicks versus the 76ers in the playoffs. And then probably either later today or tomorrow morning, I'm going to do the rest of the fucking series after after um the set, man, after the games are set. Like, I apologize, y'all. I'm just laying here chilling. But watching this, the Miami Heat versus the 76ers last night, jo Joel and B's not healthy, man. Like, he's definitely dragging his leg. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, he don't look right. And if he doesn't look right, the Knicks are going to cook the Sixers, yo, because everything that the Sixers are predicated on runs their, they run their defense throughout, through Joel Embiid because when Joel Embiid is healthy, he can cover ground. He can cover guards. You follow what I'm saying? He can, he can maneuver and move laterally. He wasn't moving laterally yesterday. Like he, he picked up a lot of cheap fouls last night and Against New York, that's going to be trouble because Jalen Brunson is going to have a fucking field day if that's the case. And just like I was talking with one of my homeboys, the Sixers were always a one one perimeter wing away from being a championship team level team. And I still feel that way, but they don't currently have that on their roster right now because their best individual defender on the wing is DeAnthony Melton. And right now he ain't healthy. If DeAnthony Melton is not there, Jalen Brunson's gonna have a fucking field day against the Sixers. Like he's gonna have he's gonna cook. Like I'll be shocked if he averages less than thirty three points a game against the Sixers. Like that's how confident I am Jalen Brunson that's gonna do is gonna do major work against them. Because like I said, the Sixers don't really have a top notch level wing defensively. De'Anthony Melton's their best wing defender. <clears throat> and Joel Embiid's their best overall defender, but at the same time, like I said, he's not he's not healthy. He's dragging that leg. And as far as guarding as far as guarding the Sixers offensively, the Knicks are more than capable of doing that because they have the bodies. We got Mitchell Robinson and Isaiah Hartenstein to throw at Joel Embiid. We got Deuce McBride to and and OG and Anobi to throw at Tyrese Maxey. And I feel I feel okay with the rest of everybody else guarding each other. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like this is gonna be a this is gonna be a grinded out series, man. This series is gonna be rough. Like you feel what I'm saying? And whoever wins this series, in my opinion, is going to the Eastern Conference Finals because Philadelphia and New York, in my opinion, is better than Milwaukee and Indiana. So that's why I said this is a major series. Whoever wins this series is going to the conference finals to meet up with the Boston Celtics. And like I said, I'll preview the rest of the playoff series tomorrow. But as a Knicks fan right now, I'm extremely confident that we're going to beat the Sixers. I'm extremely confident. But it's going to be tough. I ain't going to lie, man. I'm not going to sit right here and act like we got this shit in the bag. No, the fuck we don't. But I'm confident because I feel, I feel good about this team, even without Julius Randle. But if I had to pick... A winner, like I said, I'm going to pick the New York Knicks, and I think they're going to win in six games, maybe seven. But I feel like that. I feel like the Knicks are the better team as far as top to bottom. Joel Embiid is the best player in the series, but to me, the healthiest and most consistent player in the series is Jalen Brunson, and I think Jalen Brunson is going to have a fucking he's going to have a fucking party on this fucking team because I don't think the Sixers got an answer for him. Meanwhile, I think we got more we got more answers for the Sixers than they do for us. That's just the way I feel. But y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Peace.